Okay. Let's understand the concept of producers equilibrium. And this video is made on particular demand from one of our users. I hope you like it. Now, let us look at one particular table, which I have just pasted. So in this table, if you see, there is a particular unit of output, which are there, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. There is total revenue, there is total cost, and the profits are there. Now, before we get into this particular thing, let me ask you a question. I hope you all understand what do you mean by a producer. A producer is also sometimes called the manufacturer. Okay. And is a person who makes goods. I've used the word makes. Normally people use the word produce. So if you see all these factories which are there, the person who owns the factory, who produces goods, is known as the manufacturer or the producer. Now we all know that nobody does this kind of a work for charity. If he's producing something, why is he doing it? The producer manufactures goods. As he manufactures goods, he incurs a cost. Okay. And when he sells the good, he earns revenue or income. The difference between the revenue and the cost is the profit. So let's say I used all the machinery, I employed people and I incurred a cost of 100 bucks. Okay. Now, this is the cost. There could be two situations. The revenue could be more than 100, let's say 110 or the revenue could be less than 100. Let's say 90. So when the revenue is more than 100, which is 110, the difference between the revenue minus the cost, which is 110 minus 100, which is equal to rupees 10, is the profit which the producer makes. Whereas if the revenue is less than the cost, then revenue minus cost will be minus 10, which is known as the loss. Producer's equilibrium basically refers to the point, okay, at which the profits earned are maximum. And what do you mean point? Point mean point mean point of quantity. Or you can say the level of quantity. So producer's equilibrium is the point, is the level of quantity of goods at which the profits earned are maximum. Now, let us see this particular table that I have put in here. This table says that the units of output which the producer has made are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and 70. When he makes 10 units of production, he gets a revenue of 200 the total cost are 210 and the profits stroke losses. The negative number here represents a loss. 
And when is the loss incurred? A loss is incurred when revenue minus cost is a negative number. So here if you subtract 210 from 200, you get minus 10. Now as he kept on increasing his units of output, the number of profit kept on changing. Profit stroke the loss. So initially it was minus 10, then it became minus 5, 0, 5, 20, 10, 5. This is 10. Now if you notice the profit or the loss column, the profit is maximum at, which is 20, at the level of output of 50. So the output or the manufactured quantity is 50 when he earns the maximum profit. So we say that this point or the level of output of 50 units is the one when the producer is at equilibrium. Now if you were the producer, would you manufacture 60 quantity of goods? The answer is no. Why? Because if I increase the quantity of production, my profit goes down. Similarly, I will also not manufacture 40 because even at 40, my profits are less. So a producer is always going to manufacture 20 or rather 50 units of goods where he earns a profits of 20. So producer's equilibrium is the point when the profits are maximum.